automatically when we retrieve the value from temp data and will be deleted automatically at the end of request. For example, we have sent request 1 to action 1 and we have stored some value in the temp data. For example, keep and peak methods in temp data. Temp data item will be marked for a deletion automatically when we retrieve the value from temp data and will be deleted automatically at the end of request. For example, we have sent request 1 to action 1 and we have stored some value in the temp data. For example, temp data of x is equal to 100. Item added to temp data. We have sent request 2 to action 2 and we retrieve the value from the temp data by using temp data of x. Then automatically the item will be marked for deletion. That means at the end of request 2, the temp data of x will be deleted automatically from the temp data. Now we are sending request 3 to action 3 and trying to access the temp data of x. But temp data of x already was deleted at the end of request 2 and it is no longer available. So we cannot access that value in the action 3. This is the default scenario while working with the temp data. The second scenario is use temp data of key along with the temp data dot keep of key. The temp data of key statement marks the item for deletion and then the keep method removes the mark for deletion of the item so that the item will not be deleted at the end of the request. You can access the same value in the next request also. First we are sending request 1 to action 1 and also we are storing some information in the temp data for example temp data of x is equal to 100. Item added to temp data. Now we are making request 2 to action 2 and try to read the value from the temp data by using temp data of x syntax. The item value will be retrieved and also it will be marked for deletion automatically. But as we want the value in the next request also, we are calling a statement temp data dot keep of key which means that don't delete it. So it will remove the mark for deletion so that the item will be available in the next request also. Now we are making request 3 to action 3 and we try to retrieve the value from the temp data by using temp data of x as the value is not deleted in the previous request the value is available in the action 3. So we use the keep method in order to remove the mark for deletion and make the data available for the subsequent request. Now the scenario 3 with the peak method. The peak method is a short form of keep method. The peak method retrieves the value of the item but not mark for deletion so that the item will not be deleted at the end of request. So instead of using temp data of key to retrieve the value and separately calling temp data dot keep of key to remove the mark for deletion, we are combining both of these two statements into a single statement called temp data dot peak which means that retrieve the value right now and also don't mark it for deletion so that the value is available in the request 3. In simple words we can say temp data dot peak is equal to temp data of key plus temp data dot keep of key. But when to use which one? Suppose we have a requirement of checking the condition. If the condition is true then only you want to keep it otherwise you don't want to keep it. In that case use temp data dot keep. Suppose you don't have a condition and you want to keep the particular value always in the temp data for the subsequent request at that time use peak. Now we have three action methods index, index 2 and index 3. In the index 2 we are retrieving the data and I want to keep the data. I want to make the data available to index 3. So temp data of key of the key is message which means that make the data available to the subsequent request that is index 3 and rename the view as index 3. Request 1 is sent to index method. We have stored the data into temp data then we are redirecting to index 2 that means request 2 is sent to index 2. We retrieve the value it is marked for deletion. Immediately we are calling keep method in order to remove the mark for deletion so that the data is available in the temp data for the subsequent request. Now the request 3 is sent to index 3. Still the data is available because we have removed the mark for deletion in the previous request by using keep method. And the same is printing in the output. This is how to work with the keep method. Now let's convert the same into peak method. Peak method is just a shortcut of these two statements. We are converting these two statements into peak method. The peak method returns the value and also will not mark the item for deletion. Request 1 is sent to index. In this case we are reading the value from the temp data and also not marking for deletion so that the same value is available in the request 3 also and the same is printing in the output. So the peak method is just about a shortcut way than the keep method but sometimes you want to keep some condition. For example if the condition is true then only we are keeping it otherwise not. For this scenario keep method is best. This is all about keep and peak methods in ASP.NET MVC temp data.